Hello and welcome to this new series. This new series will explore feature by feature comparison between Tableau and Power BI. So if you have not subscribed, subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification for the new videos. Hello and welcome to another video of Tableau versus Power BI and in this video we are going to discuss fixed level of detail, fixed LOD. Now the concept comes from Tableau. Uh, LOD is typically the term which is being used in Tableau more frequently than Power BI but the concept remains same there. So we are going to understand what is this fixed LOD uh, in Tableau and then we'll try to replicate the same in Power BI. So let's jump on to Tableau and let's try to create a table first of all. I'm going to do one thing. I'm going to drag a brand. Then I drag a category also. So you move it here and then let me bring net here yeah. so we have net sales let's search it out okay we got net sales and let me make it as a table visual let me swap it and category together okay so now what happens in this case is we have this category and we have this net value. Now if you want uh, the percentage of total you know that you know you can go to quick majors and you can have you know uh, percentage of total. What happens when you require percentage of subtotal? Now one more challenge is there when you want to have percentage of subtotal is basically let's say I filter a category out of the two category if I filter a category, okay, let me also also share show filter. So now let's say if I drag one category, uh, remove one category out of it. So that category is not available. So this total should still be out of those two categories, not out of this one category which is available. So what we need here is the filter context should also get ignored in that case. So subtotal. So, so this is where fixed uh, level of details can help. Where we can get the brand total irrespective of the filter applied. If the, even if the filter get removed, then it will still get the total of these two rows. So the, these two rows should, you know, uh, should give us uh, the sales uh, uh, of the two, which is 363. So that's the number which we need. Okay, when you select with control or uh, shift, then you can get these kind of things. So we need that. So first of all, let's create a new major. So analysis, create calculated field, and then we we'll let's create fixed net. So how let's write down fixed there first of all. So the moment you type it, you get the um, uh, suggestion and you can go ahead here and say, uh, check if it is not open, you can actually open it like this. So fixed. So it required fixed the dimension which you want to fix and then the aggregate expression. Uh, the If you have a major you can use otherwise you can uh, use the aggregate expression. So start with the curly brace give fixed then no colon nothing dimension. So I want to give brand and if you have two branch like I have two branch then I need to take care which brand I want to take. So I take brand from here then colon expression sum of net sales then colon again. And I say OK. Now bring in this fixed net here in my visual. OK. So now you can see the fixed is first one. Let me make it second one. Here I am seeing major so I can move them up and down. So this is the total. If you remember we clicked on these two and we got this number here total value. Now let me remove category 1. See category 1 and 4 is there. So it is this one is still is there. Let's say what happens if I have one more filter, let's say state or something like that. Okay. So let's bring in a state also here. In the filter pane, we say all. Let's go here and say show filter. And we have to only Okay, 
so you can see brand one if you still see the total is same though this one is changing okay so so filter is not going to change the total it's going to remain same so brand one is going to remain same and now i can get a major which is percentage of subtotal so i can go ahead and say analysis and i say create calculated field percent of brand and then i say sum of net sales and divide by sum of net fixed net and then we can right click on this one go to default properties number formatting and can make it as a percentage column so we got a percentage column now we can drag it okay so we got it and let's say if i remove category one still i get 37 percent so this is the same behavior we need in power bi now remember here also we are in a star schema we have a separate dimension now when we go to power bi we are again in the same similar kind of a star schema there so we bring in item we bring in brand here and then we bring in category and then bring in net don't worry if the, the little bit of difference between the values because we might have configured little bit different data but it should be almost same okay we make it as a matrix let me do it like this let me expand it also okay so here you can see the subtotal that's the same subtotal i want in the each row so one of the thing which will come to your mind is we can use all except or we can see remove filter of this one okay okay so let's say we go here and we create a new which is brand or let's say fixed net we also call it fixed net and we say calculate net all except and what's what the table item table we have item contains brand item brand and we use it okay so we go and use item brand fixed net we created one let's search it and add it so fixed net so now you see this number is same now the test is not yet over now let's bring in category as a filter so we go to the category we bring it as a filter and let me give a little bit of space because we would like and let's say i've say category one now this is correct so even if it's a category one and let's select few things with control okay so the number is correct very happy now let's do the same thing using state so we go to state we drag state here convert it into a slicer and let's say i select one state now in this case what is what is happening you notice down that you know the number has changed see look at this when i selected category 1 this number was 363 still okay okay and till the time brand was available it was giving that number but the moment i go here this is not 363 the cross dimension has come so in a cross dimension scenario it is not working like fixed lod which was tableau was doing so now how can i make it fixed lod of tableau so let's do one thing what we can do in all except it is we can also use the sales table and the dimension related to sales table so we say all except sales item brand let's try this out now now this is their number is there and let me select category one still it is working now let me say alaska now even when i say alaska the number is still same you can see the same numbers 363881.159 so in this manner we can do now there could be little bit more differences where you might have to add all or all, everything is still you want to display when nothing is available Th those kind of things can still happen here but the basic concept is here when you do fixed lod 
here you should have the center table the table from where this major belongs to that is where you are going to make sure that it's actually not doing not getting that filter other, other than this thing nothing getting getting filtered out okay this is what we want to still have the filtering done like because we need brand level total so we still need the filtering to be done for this so this is what this is what you can get now so it's equivalent of what we have you should not treat them exactly same little bit difference could be there in the implementation in both the tools uh, the way it behaves finally but very similar stuff you can get it here using this uh, approach so go ahead and try this out do let us know what else you want us to cover in this particular series tableau versus power bi thanks for watching this video thank you get involved keep asking questions in comments subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon so that you can get notification of our new video keep watching